The water was up to her body only a few minutes after it hit the house, but Miss Chen was still able to carry her three-year-old grandchild to climb onto the roof to wait for rescue. The water came in very quickly, Miss Chen Shuang recounts the historic flood in Zhengzhou City, capital of Hunan Province, China. Hours later, the water began to recede. The elderly couple and their grandchild are still luckier than many in the area. At least three of Ms. Chen's neighbors were swept away by floodwaters and are still unaccounted for. The Hunan provincial government officially reported 58 people were killed and five were missing in the once-in-a-thousand-years flood in Zhengzhou and surrounding areas. Total physical damage was initially estimated at $12.7 billion. The flood affected more than 5 million people, forced about 815,000 to evacuate and placed 1.1 million people in need of resettlement. Yeni Chen, 12, was one of the names that appeared on a list of missing relatives published in the local newspaper. The last time his family in Gongyi saw him was on the day the flood hit. Curious child asked to come out to see. It never came back, said Mrs. Choi Yunkai heartbrokenly about her grandson. According to locals, there are still many unconfirmed disappearances in the suburbs of Zhengzhou, such as three neighbors of Ms. Chen Shuang. Some residents fled from Miha town, some Nia commune still gathering on the highway waiting for news about their loved ones. By the time we realized the flood was coming, it was too late. This is the first time I've seen such a large flood, a man surnamed Zhang said. He still hasn't found his father and four relatives in the past few days. Like many people in the same town, Zhang hopes that relatives are still stuck in the blackout area, so they cannot contact. Lu Dan, from Zhengzhou, said she has also had no word from her husband since the flood came. He was out of town on business that afternoon. At 5.10 p.m., he texted me to ask how my mother and I were doing. I replied that everything was fine, but then I didn't hear back. I couldn't call his phone anymore. We just knew. Wait, Lu said, adding that she and her two children have not given up hope. Some areas in Hanam are still isolated. Dozens of villages and towns in the area lost power, had no phone signal, and floodwaters had not receded. Many people in the affected area had to ask for help via social networks. One Weibo account said about 100 people were trapped in an elementary school in Xinxiang, north of Zhengzhou, surrounded by floodwaters. According to the Post, more than half of these are children and the elderly.